Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be the first of a Best 3 series. Uh, this is from the YSL's uh, Round Robin style Best of 3 bundle, I guess. Um, which basically, everyone plays everyone. Um, person, four people, top four people with the best score will go into the semifinals and then fight for the first place uh, placement. So yeah. Um, how I s remember how I mentioned that there was an unknown uh, in game one of the previous series, in Fever's though. Um, yeah, this is the person. So it is going to be Human Mirror. We're going to have um, FQQ uh, spawning in in the bottom left as the blue human player. And yeah, he is um, relatively an unknown, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've kind of tried to search everywhere. Uh, maybe not in the actual Warcraft 3 ladders, but um, I did try and I kind of failed. So I have no idea on the background of FQQ. All I do know is that he is from uh, China, so yeah, that pretty much is the same story for everyone participating in YSL, actually. Every player is Chinese, so yeah. Um, otherwise, it doesn't look like he's doing anything spectacularly interesting. Uh, unorthodox so it looks like it's pretty much just um, one of those standard players but let's see how he does against his opponent who is one of the uh, human titans nowadays it is going to be GHC's Yumiko spawning in as the gray human player he is going for pretty much a standard um, similar build maybe the archmage timings are a little different but well that's generally because if QQ wants to probably go for uh, some harassment, but uh, both players are getting their arcane tower, so we'll slightly repel against uh, those elementals. Maybe if QQ is just waiting for the assassin, uh, null assassin start, and trying to just interrupt that. But um, Yumiko did have sort of the similar idea, and yeah, he will be able to spot uh, the opposing archmage, and he will be able to just push him away. Uh, temporarily, the Archmage is now moving to Yumiko's base, but it did buy him enough time for the Arcane Tower to be completed, so that's um, very, very helpful. So, either way, Yumiko just uh, caught a lucky break, I guess. Which is interesting, because he. Because, <clears throat> like normal players, normally people would just start the creep camp, but he didn't bring over any militia, he didn't. To any sort of creep camp, um, and yeah, kind of interesting, but yeah, not really much to say really. Uh, keep tech is in progress for FQQ, so he wants to go for an early tier two. We usually see these, um, we usually see these uh, keep first against humans. I guess kind of common, but usually it's people who want to try and get the edge um, as quickly as possible, so let's see what FQQ will do, um, whether or not he'll start with the double sanctums or not. He did um, finish that lumber mill um, pretty early on. As you can see, Yumiko only um, placed his down. He did start his keep as well, so a little behind, but it did allow him to um, creep up. Um, I believe he is... no, he is not at level 2, he's just close to it. Um, so yeah, uh, we could also see, actually, I was wondering where the footmen were. There is actually no barracks for FQQ, so... Um, <clears throat> his early game is kind of going to suffer, because he won't have an army to try and fend off against uh, Yumiko's, I guess, 3 or 4 footmen, but he does have those towers to, I guess hold them back. Maybe he needs a little more towers because I'm pretty sure one guard tower and one and two arcane towers is not enough. Um, oh wow, Blizzard coming out for the Archmage. Um, interesting, actually. Or at least I do find it interesting. However, he is kind of trapped. I have no idea how he actually got there. Maybe it was a TP um, from the staff, but 
Um, he might have to burn his TP scroll if he wants to get out. Either way, this is still pretty good for uh, for FQQ because Yumiko can't actually fit his Archmage in. He can fit his Elemental, which he did right now, but yeah, he FQQ is doing a very nice job doing a fair amount of damage. Actually, more than that, more than a fair amount of damage. He, he did do quite significant damage, however, it didn't really kill anyone. Uh, it does look like he managed to get one off, but that's pretty much it. Um, very, very early castle ticks, so um, double griffin aviaries from the start, so this is what I mean by just trying to get the early edge. Um, humans, unless they are intentionally going for um, riflemen or double workshop or triple workshop, won't generally have the necessary anti-air to try and combat against those griffins or dragonhawk riders, but seeing as we do have tier 3 on the way, um, maybe a barracks soon, uh, it does look like griffin riders are going to be the choice. Um, either way, we do see that the archmage still failed to get any bit of experience, which is unfortunate. Um, but anyway, finally level 2 has been gained for Yumiko. That did, the blizzard harassment did kind of um, delay any further creeping for Yumiko as well because he had to send his footman over um, which was good I guess but um, yeah Yumiko does not know what is going to wait for him triple griffin aviaries we don't have a blacksmith though so we can't actually we can't actually place or produce any griffins just yet we might have Dragonhawk Riders, which we are going to have. Um, well, I guess they are kind of cost efficient. We do have a militia moving out. I believe this is once again going to be a TP play coming in for the militia, but I'm pretty sure the militia is going to die. So that was either some form of TP, uh, TP medium, or it was just uh, for scouting purposes. Anyway, the Archmage did try to go for Blizzard once again. Um, don't don't think he actually picked up any experience either. Nope. The three Arcane Towers are going to make it rather difficult for um, a spellcasting Archmage to do well, I guess. So this is the only thing drawing him back. Um, FQQ has an experienceless um, Archmage, and that could like hurt him in the later games. However, he does have triple Dragonhawk Riders out right now. The Footman will completely and unably I'm not sure if that's a word, that is definitely not a word. They, will, they won't be able to fight back unless they research defend and then the Dragonhawk Riders have to kill themselves, but that is highly unlikely. Um, either way, Yumiko is going to reach level 3 after this camp most likely. I'm pretty sure he can get level 3 after this. Yeah, he will definitely get level 3. Um, FQQ. Uh, he does have the experience, however. Um, but it was from the long distance creeping. These Dragonhawk Riders will be able to provide, I guess, some harassment. Uh, Arcane Towers. Is Cloud actually done? Cloud. Uh, clouds are done. So those towers will not be able to react back. Which is, I guess, a benefit for getting Dragonhawk Riders. Um, and now, uh, Yumiko is most likely going to be um, surprised. Unless he was aware of this. Um, so he is going to get himself the Beastmaster. The Quill Beast will be able to provide some anti-air assistance. Uh, the Dragonhawk Rider is still channeling the ability. It's a rather long uh, channeling spell, so... I guess it is very effective. But... Uh, the cloud has worn off, and yeah, um, FQQ was able to actually react fast enough, but he needs to move out of the way because the uh, anti-air units are here. Still, good bit of damage um, has been dealt. I think only a single Dragonhawk Rider has been lost. Um, FQQ has stopped production on his units, however, so... Um, yep, yeah, there we go. He remembers to do it. He is supply blocked, however, so he will be able to place another down. I'm surprised he didn't go for the, I guess, uh, the, what is it, the Griffin Riders. 
just yet. He is sticking to Dragonhawk Riders, and Yumiko is actually combating back with his own Griffin. Uh, Griffin's coming out. I have actually no idea where his. Oh, there it is. He only has one Griffin Aviator, but he does have a second one on the way. Um, this is more of a reactive, um, reactive action from Yumiko, um, because I mean, he doesn't have as many gr uh, Dragonhawks as. I guess FQQ. More blizzards coming from the Archmage. Pretty nice, I guess, bit of damage right there. He will be able to cast once again on those peasants. And the Dragon Ball Riders are not really doing much, however. I think FQQ needs to remember to utilize them at the same time. Um, there we go with the Aerial Shackles. Um, basically, as the first one who gets the Shackles will be able to, um, I guess, kill them off. However, uh, this is kind of backfiring on FQQ. Um, he kind of foregone his Archmage, which is not recommended. And I guess once the Archmage was killed, the Quill Beasts and the Elementals eventually just turned on the Dragonhawk Riders. That is not too good. Aerial Shackles on the Red Drake. Um, it does last a little, um, does last for a lesser duration. However, it still it still locks down the dragon anyway. Um, it's rather effective to clearing out that particular camp. But of course, human uh, with archmage first can clear out that camp easily anyway. Um, or at least I hope so. The red drake is maybe proving a little too much. Um, anyway, now we have the griffins. So blacksmith, blacksmith. Uh, I have no idea where the blacksmith is. I'm pretty sure the the griffins required the blacksmith in order for production, but well, who knows? I could be an entirely wrong, which is kind of embarrassing. Um, wow, does the griffin riders not require a blacksmith? I've always thought that the blacksmith was required. A player's force. I'm pretty sure they had the same requirements as the knight. Otherwise, well, I'm being proven wrong right now, so maybe I shouldn't have talked about the blacksmith so many times. Oh well, I'm totally going to get hammered from that in the comment section of this video, most likely. Anyway, uh, storm hammers is nearly done. That is going to just deal additional magic damage, I think, to buildings. Um, but anyway. Um, I think it's, I don't know, the Blizzard Archmage, maybe not working too well, but it was kind of a, uh, a clever idea, I guess, because um, locking down the towers, dealing harassment from above, as well as Blizzard, just simultaneously, um, I guess it had its potential. Unfortunately, the Archmage for Yumiko and the Beastmaster for Yumiko is kind of doing more work than the Archmage of FQQ. Um, Yumiko does also have a solid number of Dragonhawk Riders. Um, I'm not sure if two Griffin, Griffin Riders will be able to just deal with that. I mean, Dragonhawks are very good against anti-air anyway, um, or very good anti-air units anyway. I'm pretty sure they can deal with any number of Griffins. Um, so yeah. Uh, Mountain King has been queued up as well as the Paladin. Uh, kind of a desperate move I guess from FQQ. However it does show that he does have quite a bit of money in the bank. Um, but two level one heroes, it's going to be a risky play. Especially if he loses his Archmage here. He does not have a TB scroll. Um, Needs to be careful, doesn't want to give free experience away to the Beastmaster and Archmage. But he is still going to stay. He is going to take quite a bit of damage. Even, like, he's exchanging the safety of his own Archmage just to deal some harassment to the peasants. I'm very sure that is not wise. The Dragon Riders, um, surprisingly enough, do a lot of damage if you focus one target. So, once again, the Archmage was killed off. Um, we have more Dragon Hawks. Uh, popping out, probably smart because Griffins won't do that well against those um, Dragon Hawks of Yumiko. But anyway, the Archmage and Paladin is coming back out. The Paladin has now popped out. He has Holy Light as his first ability, 
and the first Ogre Lord camp will be um, cleared out by Yumiko eventually. Uh, the item is going to be the 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 Legion Doomhorn that is going to be unholy aura for the Gray Human Army. Who knows? Maybe he might go after uh, FQQ's own Ogre Lord camp, assuming that he does have a good foothold around the map. He has not necessarily map control, but he does have the power to um, control the map. I guess I could say. Um, anyway, back to Yumiko's base. He has the. Actually, I have no idea what that was. I think that was the. Was that the splash damage? No, I'm pretty sure flying machines already have flat splash damage anyway. F uh, I don't think that was the air to ground upgrades, but um, I could be entirely wrong. Either way, we. Anyway, just flat out workshop arcane sanctums have been done for Yumiko. There is a possibility of those units coming into play, but it does look like Yumiko wants to finish this himself. More aerial shackles, like this is kind of weird. Um, but anyway, it does look like Yumiko does have the um, sharper edge in this fight. Um, obviously, we di we did have FQQ going for those shackles um, first, unfortunately, and very unfortunately, um, shackles do cancel shackles, and Yumiko is going to win this out. And yeah. That is going to be game one of this best three series. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys um, in game two.